Hey everyone, Amber here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a tutorial on how to make this file folder box. So I actually made this box a few months back, and at the time when I posted it to my Instagram, a few people asked for a tutorial, and I didn't have time at the time to film one, but I am filming one today, so hopefully it's better late than never. Um, it's super easy to make. There are some steps to it, but once you get going, it comes together quite quickly. So you can see when you open the file folder box, you have five little sleeves where you can add anything that you want to add to it. This project would work great as a recipe book to store some favorite recipes. It would also work great as a mini album or um, even as a way to send some goodies and some happy mail to a pen pal, which is what I plan on using the one I'm making today for. So i um, super excited for that. I haven't worked on happy mail that much lately, so I'm excited to be getting back into that. But yeah, um, this file folder box is super easy to make, so I'm going to first show you all of the um, paper sizes that you will need to put this together. So, for the accordion bit here, you will need two pieces of paper that measure four by six inches. For the pages or sleeves inside of the file folder, you will need four pieces of paper that measure four by six inches. And I like to alternate patterns. You can use all different ones or all the same, whichever you want. For the box itself, you need a piece of paper that measures six inches by 12 inches. And for the lid of the box, you need a piece of paper that measures six inches by about seven inches. It doesn't have to be exact, but just about seven inches. So as always, I will leave all of the measurements listed down below so that you can follow along easier if you are making one of these for yourself. So we are going to start with the main base, which is the box and the lid. So for the box part, which is this part here that's on this, um, the back, the front, and the bottom. Take your piece of paper that measures six inches by 12 inches. And I like to use double-sided paper since you do see the inside quite a bit. So I just cut two pieces of paper down to size and sew them with a zigzag stitch all the way around just to keep them together. So now I'm going to score this paper at four and a half inches on both sides. So I'm just putting it in my scoreboard long ways, scoring at four and a half inches. And then I'm just going to flip it to the other side and score it again at four and a half inches. So this will give us a back and front that is four and a half inches tall. And then we will have three inches here to um, on the bottom of our file folder box where we can add all of the goodies to. So for the lid, you need to place it with the seven inch ish side up at the top of your scoreboard and score it at two and a quarter inch and at five and a quarter inch. And whatever is left on the other side here will be how we adhere the lid to the box itself. So we will move the scoreboard out of the way for now. And I'm just going to fold up on all of my score lines. All right, and now that we have our lid folded and our base folded, 
I'll quickly show you here how we are going to adhere them together. So decide which side you want to be the front of your box. Um, I'm going to use this side just because the stitching got a little bit weird on this side. So on the back part, you're going to take that extra little bit. It's about an inch and a half or so of a paper and you are going to line it up against the back here so that the score line is even with the top. And then you are just going to adhere it down like that. So I am going to use some half inch double sided tape since it's super strong and super sticky. And I'm just going to add two strips of that all the way across the length here. And I like to use my scoring tool or bone folder to just make sure that the tape is nice and adhered. And then I'm just going to remove the backing and um, apply it to the box. So I like to do this by laying the lid flat and then just measuring the box part up to that score line. And then I'm going to use my scoring tool to make sure it is adhered down nicely. And that will be the base of our box. So now that this is done, it is time to move on to the accordion hinges that will sit on the side here that we can add all of our pages to. All right, so for the accordion hinges, I'm taking my two pieces of paper that measure four by six inches, and I am placing them in my scoreboard. I'm using my mini scoreboard here just because it's smaller and easier. So I'm going to place it with a six inch side at the top, and I'm going to score at half an inch all the way down. So I'm going to score at half an inch, one inch, one and a half, two inch, and just repeat that half inch pattern all the way down the length of your paper. And you're going to do this for both papers. All right, and now that we have our papers scored, it's time to fold up on them. So if you can see here on this box how it's attached, we are going to fold our paper like that. So we want to take our, our paper and we're going to fold the first segment upwards so that the other side of the paper is showing. And then you're just going to complete the accordion fold based off of that. Until you have something that looks like this. And I'm going to repeat that. So fold the first segment of the paper up and then continue on with accordion folding the paper. All right, so now that we have our um, hinges done and ready to go, we can start assembling the box itself. So before I add the hinges and the pages, I'm going to add the, um, the closure to the box first. It's easier to do it now. Um, if you try to do it later, once the hinges are in, it's just um, bulky in here and hard to get to. So for this box, I used a magnet closure. Unfortunately, I have run out of magnets. I've been making a ton of mini albums and I just use them all up super quick. So for this tutorial today, 
I'm going to be using Velcro. These are from the Dollar Tree, so they are super inexpensive and easy to find. Um, I prefer the magnets. Uh, they hold really well and it's easy to open. Velcro can be sticky sometimes, but it gets the job done when you're in a pinch. So I am just going to line this up in the center as best I can on the lid part. And I just guesstimated there. If you want to get really precise, you can use a ruler to measure it all out. And then I'm going to line everything up and secure that into place. And then just make sure that both are stuck down nicely. So now that the closure is done, we can move on to adding the hinges and the pages. All right, so for the hinges, we're going to start by taking one and we are going to alternate the pages here. That's how I like to do it. Like I said, you can um, use all the same pattern or all different patterns. I think any way would look super cute. So with your hinges here, you are going to take the first piece of paper and you're going to apply adhesive to the back here. And then you're not going to put it on the first one here. This will be attached to the box itself. So you're going to skip that one and adhere your paper to the next one. So the next peak is what you're going to be adhering the first page to. And then from there, you will skip the peak and then adhere it to the next one. So you're going to be putting all of your adhesive, um, I'm using a quarter inch double-sided tape, on the back of your page here, and then you're just going to adhere that down. And then we are just going to repeat that process with the other two pages. So I'm just going to take my double-sided quarter inch tape and apply it to the very edge of my paper here. And then I'm going to line it up as evenly as I can. I like to stand the hinge up just so everything's nice and even and then just pinch it closed so it seals into place. So that is the first page in and now I'm going to Repeat that with the next page. So again, adding adhesive to the very outer edge here. And then I'm going to skip this outer peak and then apply it to the next inner peak. And that is what we have so far. And I'm going to just finish off the last two. So I'm skipping the outer peak and then adhering this to the inner peak. And doing the same with the final piece. And that is the first side done. So now for the second side, it's going to be the same process. So we're going to be adding some tape to the outer edge of all the backs of these. And then we're just going to be applying it as we go. So I'm just going to apply all of my tape first. All right, so I'm going to remove the backing of the tape on the first page. And I am going to just repeat that same process 
as I did on the other side. And as you adhere these pages into place, you will notice that um, they get a little bit bendy. Um, that's just because of the tension with all of the paper. So take your time adhering them. And it also gives more room for the goodies once everything is inside the box. So you have more room in each little sleeve to add things to. And on to the last page. I know that this um, process can be a little bit confusing, so just take your time. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will do my best to help you. So this is what the finished inside looks like. And now it's time to apply some tape to these two edges back here and the two in the front. So again, I'm just using some quarter inch double-sided tape and I'm just going to apply that on to each of these four strips here. All right, so now that our tape is in place, before we actually glue this down, I will show you what we're going to do here. So we are going to take the base of our box and on the back side here, we are going to add our inside pages and hinges by just aligning these hinges here with the outer edges and leaving about an eighth of an inch or just a little bit more um, above that score line here. We don't want these to be super flush against the bottom. So just go up a little bit from that score line. So I'm going to um, try to keep this as even as possible. I'm going to do one side at a time. I chose a paper where you can't really see the score lines. So going to do my best here. And now that that side is done, I'm going to move on to the next side and try to keep it straight. And then use my scoring tool to smooth everything out and make sure it's stuck down and is not going to go anywhere. And now that the back is adhered down, we're just going to fold up the front here and adhere those other two slips to the front. So this part's a little bit tricky just because there's some tension in the paper and you're going to have to pull it and line everything up. So again, just take your time here. It can actually help to fold the lid back a bit just to get it out of the way. So just line up the edges as best you can and adhere them down. All right, and then I'm going to again take my scoring tool and just seal everything really nice. And now we have the inside of our file folder book done and ready to go. And then you can close it up and you can see that we are ready to embellish. So, I am going 
to just embellish um, and add some music to the background. So if you want to stick around and see how I'm going to decorate this, then um, definitely feel free to, or you can skip to the end to see the final project. All right, so actually my um, memory card did not have enough room on it to film the whole decorating process. So um, I just had to do that off camera, but here is the final file folder box. So it's very pink. I'll just show you here what I added to it. So on the top here, I added a eyelet and to that I attached a pink tassel and then I punched a hole in this wood veneer butterfly using my crocodile and then I attached that as well to act as a little charm. Here I added three different types of trim. I added a pink fringe a large pink polka dot and some small white polka dots. In this corner I added a yellow flower and then um, the word beautiful. So I just, after I decorated everything else, I felt that it needed something on the bottom to tie it all together. So up here on the lid I just did a big cluster. So I used a bunch of the Maggie Holmes floral flowers and I just layered those up. I added a black rosette that I had previously made that was in my stash and to that I added a bow. These are from Michaels from years ago. Um, I just happened to find one um, in my stash. I had one left so I used it here just because this project is already so girly so I thought that looked nice. I added a banner back here, a little wood veneer leaf to tie in with the butterfly charm I made, and then some butterflies and leaves just to kind of tie everything together. In the actual box, I didn't want the um, inside pages to be plain, so I made little banners and hopefully you can kind of see them. I just took strips of paper and added some ephemera to them, some little phrase stickers and stuff like that, just to decorate it up so it didn't look too plain um, when the sleeves were not filled. So that is the finished file folder. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you do decide to make one of these, I would love to see it, so feel free to tag me on Instagram at Bambi's Mail. I will leave that link down below. Also, as always, the measurements for this project will be listed down below as well, so be sure to check those out. It just makes it easier to follow along. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one. Take care and happy crafting. Bye.